The resin I'm going to be using is a Lumilite Slow Set 7, named after its 7 minute working time. And that gives us enough time to fill up the mold and let the air go out the vents and still have time for pressure casting. This mold takes 25 milliliters each of part A and B and I figured that out by filling each of these up with A and B all the way full, mixing them together into this, pouring into the mold, and then pouring the excess back into one of these cups. That way I could fill two cups with water and then subtract that amount of excess to know how much resin I used, divide that in half into a little disposable measuring cup, and I had 25 milliliters. Mark that on the disposable shot glass. And now, each time I'm going to cast, I match up that sharpie line. And now, I can actually just use one cup, fill part A up, pour it in, and then fill part B up in the same cup. This is an 8 gallon pressure pot that I ordered from Amazon. I have removed the propeller from this manual agitator here in the center and I slid it up and then retightened the Allen tightening screws. The pressure pot has a regulator knob, but I'll be using the regulator on the compressor. This safety valve will release the pressure if it gets too close to 60 pounds. Okay, I've got a cast in the pressure pot right now, and let's look at some previous casts with and without the pressure pot. It's a bit of an investment, and you can get fairly good results without it. So, at first glance, these look pretty great. All of the detail is captured and there's no tiny bubbles but on the bottom you see there's some areas that I couldn't vent and these bubbles don't always appear in the same place so even with vents it won't be perfect. This is the worst offender over here and the best one came out when I tilted the mold to help the air go to where I did have vents. So this one would be pretty easy to fill. Okay, so you've seen what we can get without the pressure caster. Let's bring in the ones that were cast with a pressure pot. So the best one is number five. Number five came out perfect, not a single bubble. Numbers three and four have one tiny little bubble on the belly that's been compressed by the pressure. And number one and two have one around the tail. So with this mold, instead of having larger holes like these, which you'd have to fill, the worst you're going to get every time, I've done this five times so far, is one bubble that will easily fill with paint. I'm going to start selling these kits in the next video. The kits will come with the base, and as you can see, the feet fit right in between the rocks. The protoceratops do not need to be pressure cast. 
However, I do squeeze the mold to get the bubbles to come out of the legs. 